Bang! Neves knives. Ah, let's do that again. Bang! Neves knives. I'm Jared, and I got a whole bunch of knives we're going to take a look at because I needed some video content for today. So I'm going to show you guys some of the knives I have in for sharpening. So this is the Best Tech Engine. Now, this knife actually comes in different blade shapes. Beautiful an anodization. Oh, it looks so gorgeous. And then the other side is beautiful carbon fiber. It really plays with the light. If I can get it just right, it almost looks like a cross cut, but it's not. It just has a really good cut of it. Nice little clip point blade. Now, like I said, it does come in another blade shape. Beautiful detent. Very, very snappy. And what's also really cool about it, not fall shut, but you can reverse flick it. Nice little choil right there. It is a compact little knife, but it's well built. I'll give it that. Nice, well-tuned detent. And uh, yeah, very, very cool. I'm surprised they didn't spread this anno work onto this side on this titanium piece, but whatever, no big deal. Let's get to the next one. So this was the Best Tech Engine. Okay, so we, we got uh, multiple different... Uh, packages here that we're, we're going to go through now this one or the, these knives are all from the same person and then we'll get to somebody else's package i'm not going to edit this video at all so this is the oh oh man i don't even know the name of it um it is a norman knife so right here norman knives um, I've never checked out any of their knives. I guess this is like one of their budget knives. Let me shut this really quick. It came in this little tiny case right here. So, good flipping action. Good flipping action. Tonto, American Tonto, G10. Uh, I'm guessing that's a steel liner. Feels like it. Um, steel pocket clip. It feels like a, a cool little budget knife. Good action though. Um, I guess they do make high-end knives as well. I don't know what steel this is. I like that logo, though. Was that a Great Dane? Yep. Or no, Doberman. It's a Doberman. Very cool. I don't know the blade steel on this. I'll have to find out for sharpening so I know what type of edge to put on it. Let's get to this next one. All right. So, this next one is now this has been modded this is a crkt ceo but as you can see it's had some titanium scales put on it now this thing is tough to flick now normally i just want to say this right now normally these knives have incredible action incredible so these are really good knives um you know considering but this one is a bit stiff of a detent and this lock bar is super hard to get to. But like I said, this is different scales. Now, at first I was trying to go up with it. You can't go up. You got to kind of go out and then it works just fine. It is a straight back design, pretty thick little blade. Um, I think this is 8CR, I think. But yeah, it normally comes in, I think, G10. They have FRN, G10. And I think they even have micarta scales for these. So they do have multiple different versions. I'm going to link stuff. The one thing I will edit in this video is I'm going to link stuff down in the description. So anything that I show in this video, if it's possible, I will link it down below. So if you want to get a CEO or check out what they really look like or anything like that, you can check them out down in the description. Very, very cool though. Very slim. Now this one is in for tuning. I don't think it's in for, it's not in for sharpening. What I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can't, um, it, I mean, it is kind of smooth, but it's got like a little spot right there. So I'm going to see if I can't tune that up. Let's get to the next one. The next one is 
Ooh, the honey badger, the big honey badger. Now this is the first large honey badger I've ever got to check out. I have a small honey badger, but this thing is so badass. I don't know why they don't make a high-end version of this. Literally make titanium scales. You can make it even a liner lock, but make, you know, all titanium. That would be so awesome. It's so easy to reverse flick. This thing has amazing action. And even lefties can enjoy it. Um, it's reversible pocket clip too. Nice deep carry clip. I just don't like the FRM. That's my big problem with it. I don't like FRM. But awesome, awesome knife. Very cool. Um, okay, now this one I'll just show really quick because I have one of these. This is large manix but you know what though man it's in to get it uh smoothened out a little bit but i mean this thing's pretty false shut i mean i don't know if it can get any smoother than that because look i'll just pull it down i mean it's it's very very smooth i don't know um but i can polish the washers and see if i can't get it just a little bit smoother but man it's all ready man this thing kicks i like this thing this thing has incredible action in my opinion um, I love the, the thwack when I pop it open. Listen, let's see if the microphone can hear it. It has a nice kick to it. But, oh yeah, if you guys want to get an XL version, I can link one down below, I believe. Because there these are available right now. Um, I don't know for how long because these XL versions, they sell out quick. Because everybody wants to get a Manix 2XL, but and, but they're never available right now. I can link one below. So look, check out the description. All right, let's get to these next ones. Now, these next ones, um, uh, well, this one, I, I made a mistake. I thought this was mine. This is the Concept Gremlin. I thought this was my knife. Stasa 23 sent me a box of shirts and a bunch of goodies on the inside. I thought he gave me a knife. Here to find out. Nope. Somebody uh, won something from him and he sent it to me to check out first before it goes to them. So um, I'm a dummy. <laughs> S35VN, beautiful carbon fiber. It's kind of like fat carbon. I love that. That I love fat carbon. There's none on this side, though. I do kind of wish they put a little bit on this side. Normally, I don't really care about scales matching from one side to the other. But on this particular knife, I would like to see something on this side. Action is really good. Well-tuned detent. Very light blade, so it's not going to be like fall shut action, but it is very smooth. Very, very well-tuned detent. Nice milled pocket clip we got a, a bead blasted titanium scales just an awesome awesome knife let's get to the next one all right now this next one it's gonna blow you guys away we have two more actually a two or three more but two for sure that are just absolutely epic here we go Ooh, look at that this is a Shoro Goroff. Now, just because I'm pulling this one out, I'm going to pull my two out. Look at that fat carbon. Oh, that is gorgeous. I've never, I don't know what model this is because I have, let me grab mine. So I have the F95 frag and the F three R now both this is got to be an F series because you can see the similarities. Um, well, at least the size. I don't know, though, because it is so different. Like, mine has flat scales. This one has contoured scales. Look at, man. And then look at the finish. Stone washed. This is so gorgeous. Very, very nice. Um, but then this one I have, my F3R, is contoured, except for it's the carbon. Is this loose? No. Um, this one's the carbon fiber one and it is contoured, but this one's carbon fiber with titanium liners. Um, my blade is a little different though. See how this blade is, how it goes up and then it clips. Mine is just a straight drop point. Let me see what this one is. This one's a straight drop point too. So I don't know what model this one is, but 
damn it is it beautiful very comfortable in the hand um m390 stone washed amazing stone washing i am going to put a screamer on this because shoro goroff does an amazing job with their m390 also i noticed this too um the detent is a little later than mine like check this out i can hold mine up as high as i want and it's always past the detent i mean i can hold it as high as possible it's hot, like all the way up to the top of the lock bar and it's past the detent this one too all the way up it's past the detent this one i have to pull hold down just a little bit if i go up high it'll hit the detent but if i go right there i can get past it so not a big deal it's still you know very very um enjoyable because it's not like it's in that spot like the the shiro goroff um Oh, what was the name of that one with the bad late detent? Um, the new one. I can't think of the name of it, but I reviewed it. Look at that carbon fiber. Fat carbon. It's got like a, I don't know, like a pattern in it. Like it was milled. Like you see that right here, this line, this transition. It's pretty crazy, man. Nice big hardware beautiful beautiful knife and then like look at the landing zones and stuff they put a beautiful landing zone right here stupid smooth perfectly centered look at that lanyard hole uh, this thing's gorgeous all right check this next one out now with this next one i have something else to pull out that i want to show you guys Woo! This is the Koenig Arius. Literally, probably the, and I mean this just from people, like probably the best knife in the world right now. And I'm saying that not from my opinion, but from the majority. Majority of people, when you ask them, what is the nicest knife you can get right now? What is the most sought after knife you could possibly get? Most people agree. The Koenig Arius. It is a USA made beautiful knife. Now, what did I want to pull out? Something that I recently got that I said reminds me of the Koenig Arius. Do you guys see what I'm talking about now? Holy cow. This is a budget Koenig Arius. I mean, it's not a copy or anything like that, but you can totally see what I'm talking about. And let me just say this, guys. This knife is incredible. This is an awesome knife. Awesome buy. This is the, the Kubi KU321. I will link them down in the description. That's all I'm going to say is that if you, if you don't get one, man, you're missing out. This thing is so good. Look at this drop. The action is insane. Good cutter. I mean, I've been cutting with it and using it. It cuts so good. Uh, it is in D2, but this thing is extremely affordable. And if you're left-handed, reversible clip, T10 pivot, T8 hardware, this thing is so, so good. All or the three new Kubis that I've been uh, testing um, the past couple days are all amazing. Even this one. This is the, um, I just sharpened this, um, the, the, I don't remember the, the numbers though the one two two or something no what is it whatever it is either way um i'll link them down in the description this thing is amazing too but the koenig areas holy cow this is such an amazing knife and this is such an amazing budget version <laughs> but yeah you can thumb flick it amazing hollow ground blade oh this thing's gonna take such a nasty edge I love sharpening these. These things take a... The heat treats are usually really good on them. And this one has a beautiful stone-washed finish. Bead-blasted titanium anodized gold hardware. Love this hardware. Look at how big that hardware is. The, the lock bar access is so good. And it's stupid smooth it's funny because um well i had one of these a while back not had one but i had one in and it was an older version the newer version fixed every 
little detail that I complained about the the original one. Every single one. This thing is insanely good. But they are incredibly expensive. I would love to try the non-flipper version. I can only imagine how good the non-flipper version is. But I don't know. The, the flipper version is so amazing. It's like, which one do you get? If you have the choice to get the non-flipper or the flipper, which one do you get? They both seem amazing. Some people would be like, I just get them both. No, you can only get one. Which one would you get? You know what? While we're sitting here, I'm going to show two more knives. I'm going to show another knife while we're sitting here. I got this one in for sharpening. Ooh, look at that. This is a Chris Reeves. Um, The, the Nkosi. Beautiful double thumb studs. And it came in. Oh, I put oil on it. I forgot. It came in and needed a new edge. Let me wipe off the oil. I'll just replace the oil. It has S45 VN and it had a little, not patina, but it had a couple little speckles on it. Um, it's supposed to be a really stainless steel, but you know, I guess uh, it happened. So, I fixed the edge because it did have um, some inconsistencies in it, but I didn't want to remove too much steel. So I just put the best edge I could put on there without removing, with removing the least amount of steel possible. Beautiful edge. This thing is sticky. I mean, like it is very sticky, very, very sharp. And it is such an awesome knife. Not as drop shutty as mine, but it is different though. The one difference between this and the 21 is they both do have hollow grinds, but these ones are thicker. These are definitely thicker. The 21 is a lot thinner of a hollow grind. Let's check out the next one really quick. Next one is <laughs> a broken skull, a cold steel broken skull. Now, I've never seen one of these before, having this one in for sharpening. It has a DLC coating. And if you don't know, DLC is like the best type of coating or like the, the toughest kind of coating you can get on a knife if you're going to get a coating. So Stone Cold Steve Austin did design this. This one is in for sharpening. You can see I put a screaming mirror on this beast. And it is ridiculously sharp um, on another level of sharpness. But, yeah, it is the cold steel triad lock. I don't want that thing to hit my finger. Um, it is a long, slim knife. Definitely not my style of knife, but very cool. I mean, I could see why somebody would love this because I can imagine it's a good slicer, nice and long. You really get some work done. And it does snap out there pretty good. And once you get used to the back lock, very cool, but very long and very slim. Take another look at that edge. Holy moly. All right, guys. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.